figured security would be tighter than this. I don't suppose we could just charge inside. That wouldn't be prudent. This is their stronghold. Rowan? What's the matter? I was just weighing options. I think Jude might have the right idea here. Whoa, hey now, are you serious? For once, Mila's telling us to be cautious and not charge in. Do you have a plan? More of a hunch, actually. Shall we test it? If it's good enough for Rowan, count me in. Stop right there! No matter what happens, I'm right there with you. Any reinforcements? Looks clear. This is the king's house. Shouldn't he have more soldiers? It could be a trap. No doubt the Rashagal army has already been deployed for war with Ajul. But wouldn't they tighten security around the royal palace in wartime? Except for the natural and man-made barriers that protect Fenmont in the north and south, it has few defenses in the event of a siege. If the enemy army breaches its walls, the city is as good as fallen. Troops are wasted here in wartime, so the majority of them are deployed to fortify the naval defenses in Fort Gondala. That makes sense, but it also means war is imminent. We can't waste this opportunity. Indeed. a lotus ring, a device that ferries people throughout Order Palace. We must use it to proceed further. All aboard? Wow! Order Palace is huge! And it's so sparkly and pretty! I've never seen anything like it! The entirety of Orta Palace was made out of a single lumen tree. They channeled spirits to grow it into the shape of this giant palace in just five years. This is a single tree? Wow, their spirit arts are incredible. Oh, you guys actually believe me? N no not at all. We just thought it sounded true. Isn't that the same thing? for security. I've never seen such a thing. I guess just walking through was too much to hope for. Naturally. But this won't be enough to stop us. <laughs> a new private session. Mila, farewell! Over! Okay. Here's Spiral! 
Like a dream come true. This isn't visiting. This is breaking and entering. Welcome to Rashagal's Most Wanted. I feel like I should say something, but I guess this isn't the time. Okay. Go, Chibo! 
I will fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you.
It appears some rats have snuck into the palace. They should be here any moment. Who are these vermin? I needn't have asked. <clears throat> so you've arrived, Maxwell. And looking much more spry than I expected after your injury. All to stop you. Go wait by the lance. We'll obliterate those northern savages as soon as I'm finished with Maxwell. As you wish. Ilbert, will you really raise your sword against your master? My only master is Lord Klein. There is no other. I'm willing to forgive such insolence, if you return to my side. Once I thought you had the potential to be a great king, but now I see you've become unworthy of the throne. Hmm. No one in this world is more worthy to sit upon this throne than I. You still don't get it, do you? You lack the qualities needed to govern humanity. Foolish girl. A king only needs one quality, birthright. He is born into his power. So he can sacrifice his own people? Of course. Again, that is my birthright. Now I'll extend my influence over the spirit realm as well. You will control no one. No man and no spirit either. Foolish boy. Has Maxwell's impudence rubbed off on you as well? You can call me whatever you want. Do you have any idea how much your actions have tormented Rowan here? Any idea at all? Jude, please. You people think peace is some sort of right. 
You are mistaken. Peace is a luxury, not a right. Surrender yourselves into my service. That is your duty as my subjects. You are beyond salvation. I'm through wasting my time with you. Let's put an end to this right now. I now share all of the mana absorbed by the Lance of Kresnik. Once I believed that you and I were two friends who traveled along the same path in life. However, now it seems we've reached our journey's end. With a philosophy like that, life must be convenient. But your beliefs have become a royal pain to all of us. They're just illusions of grandeur. I can't believe that someone like this could be our king! It's time someone knocks some sense in you! Jude and Mila and everyone! I have to protect my friends! Off with his head! Off with his head! Someone needs to put a stop to your ambitions! And that would be us! Prepare yourself, Noctigal! Now I shall show you the power that will unite Reza and Maxia! To fall from grace, then let it be by my hand. Are you capable of such when your spear is dull? This spear has granted unity and resolve to this country, now and forever. We shall see you. Oh, friend. But enough talk. There is no greater language than that of war. How at you? Very well. So be it. It all ends here. Indeed. <laughs> oh, kneel. Okay. It's not over. Destruction. Okay. It's time you know your place. Massacre. Noctigal, you have lost. I request that you stand down.
Rashikal over to Gaius. Regardless, as king, you must answer for your crimes. Nonsense. With the lance of Kresnik, I shall have absolute power. That's enough. Mankind wasn't meant to wield such power. It would destroy the world as we know it. And you as well. <laughs> Mila, wait! This man is Rowan's friend, so Rowan should handle it. Noctigal, a country without its king is doomed to chaos. You have turned away from the responsibility you must bear. We have both turned away. King Noctagal. Ilbert, you're not saying that I should... Let us build a new future for Rashagal together. You mean you would bear the burden of my crimes as well? It's of no consequence. Rowan. <laughs> Do it. Yes, Master. Not to go. Who is it? Who's there? No, they must be after. The Lance of Kresnik! Don't worry about me. We must hurry. It must be awful to lose a friend. Poor Rowan. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm fine, everyone. Fighting such an impassioned battle gave Noctigal and I a chance to understand each other again. We have walked different paths, but it was good to remember a time when we called each other friend. I have no regrets whatsoever. I see. Then there is nothing further for me to say. Do you think that King Noctigal felt the same way? For Owen's sake, I sure hope so. Yes, I do believe he did. Thank you. All of you.
Too late. It's gone. Are you sure it was even here? Noctigal absorbed the Lance's energy before fighting us. It had to have been here. Gillen's gone as well. Maybe he moved it. If the Lance made it outside, it could be anywhere by now. Let us leave the palace. I can't figure it out. Who could have fired those arrows that killed Noctigal? I have no idea, but for an instant, I sensed a strength that was equal to the power of a great spirit. Well, it's definitely not your pals, since they're trapped in the Lance. Wasn't there also talk about a great spirit-like presence in the attack on Himil? There are two possibilities. Either the enemy has found a way to control the Four, or there are other great spirits of which I am not aware. So we're going to end up fighting a great spirit either way. Wonderful. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Hey, hold on. Aren't you... Aren't you Chief Hilbert? That is correct. I have a message. Let me through. What is it? Azul's army is on the march. The enemy force is said to exceed 50,000 men. The war, it started. Order the troops. To attack. Forward to victory. 
Forward to victory! Forward to victory! Prepare to attack! Forward to victory! Prepare to attack! Prepare to attack! Forward to victory! Forward to victory! Prepare to attack! Forward to victory! From Sapstrath? No, they're coming from north of Finmont. They're in Fezabel Marsh. Impossible. How do they intend to march across such impassable terrain? The spirit climbs have stopped shifting. Uh, Chief Ilbert, we are unable to decipher their method of transportation. This is bad, isn't it? All our soldiers are concentrated in Fort Gandala and at sea. At this point, we may not have time to move our troops into position. You need not worry. Deputy Chief of Staff Gillen foresaw this attack. He is transporting our new weapon to the battlefield as we speak. I knew it. Soldier, who ordered you to carry this message? The Deputy Chief himself. Is something wrong? No. You are dismissed. Gilland is up to something. Whatever it is, we must head to Fezabel Marsh at once. Has our eminent tactician figured out how the enemy plans to cross Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid not. During the Renome season, the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible. But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilter. The marsh flow should remain active. What's this marsh flow? The marsh's many bodies of water are linked together, with their water flowing through underground channels. If you were to fall into one, you'd get carried off to who knows where. Oh, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm a great swimmer. The maze of channels is quite complicated. It could be ten years before you're finally pulled to the surface. Yikes. Don't know if I can hold my breath for that long. And yet the enemy intends to cross it with a full army. That leads me to one conclusion. That Arjul has a tactician even greater than the Conductor himself? Yes.
Now this is some pretty nice gear. You really are cutting an impressive figure. Ta-da! Look! Look, everyone, look! Check out my awesome new duds! Not bad, not bad. Might look a tad classier if you cut off the price tags. since you've been back to Fenmont. Don't you want to visit any of your friends? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, you didn't make any friends while you were here? I made plenty of friends. It just, it feels like it's been forever since I went to school here. <laughs> 